everyone, Ham here. So today I thought I'd check out the update to No Man's Sky in the prison update uh, where they've added NVIDIA DLS, DLSS support, uh, which is a AI upscaler which should allow us to have um, higher frame rates with better graphics uh, using less GPU. Um, so the idea of this is I'm going to try it with the Quest 2. So this is going to be more of a, a tech benchmark video than the gameplay, but it's just to see how um, VR DLSS performs. So I've got a Quest 2 set up ready to um, benchmark. I've got it set to 90 hertz and the resolution cranked up to the maximum. Uh, typically I'll have this set to 72 and then depending on the performance of the game, I'll increase the refresh rate if the graphics card can maintain a stable um, frame rate at that resolution. So for this benchmark, I'm gonna put it to 90 Hertz, maximum rendering resolution and asynchronous space warp I've set to disabled. And in Steam, I'm gonna turn that off as well so there's no reprojection. Um, in terms of updates, I believe the update just came out today. So I'm gonna be um, digging into the settings, turning it on, and seeing what kind of frame rate difference and performance overhead difference we get with uh, DLSS turned on. So I'll just check the video settings in Steam VR. So No Man's Sky, we've got render multiplier set to 100%, so no change there. Motion smoothing is off, uh, so that shouldn't be relevant either. So go back to the game. So if we now jump into options, graphic options, I've currently got this on the high preset, all standard options for high. So currently as is, we get about 68 FPS to 70, and 93% GPU usage, and about anywhere between 30 to 50% performance, negative headroom should I say. So yeah, the target frame rate is going to be 90 hertz, but we're getting nowhere near that currently. So let's go back into graphic options. And then if we go into anti-aliasing, I'm gonna turn that on to DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling. And it gives you a bit of information there about uh, what it is and how it works. Um, so, in terms of options, we've got quality, which will sh give you the best image quality but the least performance gain, and it goes all the way up to ultra performance, which is recommended for 8K resolutions. Um, so we'll try that first, that should give us the biggest bump. Says restarts required to take effect, but you don't need to. There we go. We're hitting 90 frames per second now. It does look noticeably um, more smeary, I'd say, on this setting. But a uh, definite boost in performance, so headroom is pretty much on 0 to minus 4, but it's not dropping from 100%. So I'll go to the next level down. Is performance. And we're still on 90%. It's a little bit sharper. So this is probably the saying I'd use, or well, the saying I will use going forward. Balanced. Okay, so on balance the frame rate is dropping to about 85 frames per second. And you can see the performance headrooms dipping a bit under. And then last of all, check out quality. So now we're running around about 
80 frames per second. So we could set the headset to um, 80 hertz, and this would be uh, quite a reasonable setting to have it on. So there we go. Well, uh, maybe I'll get out of the uh, spaceship, move around a bit. This is on the quality setting. We'll, we'll drop down to then 50 something. Put it back up to performance. That's much better. I don't know if the quality differences are coming through on Oculus Mirror. I'll put it up to the highest setting, which is recommended for 8K. Ultra performance. Yeah, you can tell it is a bit more fuzzy. There isn't much of a performance difference. I mean, it isn't really worth it for the Quest 2 because it's almost 4K resolution, it's not 8K, so it's not really suitable based on that description. So that's DLSS. Uh, this is one of the first games to have it for VR. I believe Wrench and Into the Radius or two other games that will also have this option, so look out for that in the future. Uh, I'll possibly try some of my other headsets if people wanted to know, and um, just leave a comment below and uh, I'll uh, get a video up if enough people want it. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you want to be kept up to date with your content, uh, hit the sub button as well. I'm always that YouTube partner, so any subs are appreciated. Alright, that's it for now. Till next time, bye bye.